Hello everybody, it is Ed and today we are going to be doing another video and this is a short video so I don't know how short it's going to be. I want you to pick my next book. So I'm finishing up two major fantasy series, one of those being the Stormlight Archive because I'm on Oldbringer right now about 50%, 30 to 50% through and then I have next uh, the Dark Tower, I'm going to finish the last book in the Dark Tower. Then. I'll be completely open. I need to pick another book to read. So I'm not saying I can pick any book in the world. Like, I have a lot of Stephen Kings, you know, and I'm ready to read any of those. But not those. Because you see, at all points in my life, I seem to have had at least, like, one fantasy series going on at all times. So, uh, well, I've got the options laid out for you. And I want to see what you guys want to see from me. So that I can, like, choose on one. Because I don't really have a big preference towards either. I just have a couple of preferences overall, and so if you guys want to pick, I want to know what you guys want to see, and what you guys want to see, I want to read. So that's just how I exist. So let's see. Them. First things first, I got Legend right here, which I am gonna read. So sorry, you're gonna get that either way. I'm gonna finish this trilogy. It's like 200 pages each. I'm, I'll be finishing it like a week. All done. Fun fact: first Legend book is the only book which I've reviewed fully gotten ready just forgot to upload and it's like a really old video where I used to sit down and it's really bad so I didn't I'm not gonna upload it now but I will be re-reviewing it when I read this book again because the fourth book the quadrilogy book it's called Rebel and it's coming out soon so I want to like jump onto that because Air really loves it and blah 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 so I'm gonna read that no matter what happens that's happening next we've got Mistborn and I already know this one's gonna be a popular choice because I've already read Stormlight Archive and people are like absolutely flocking in from those videos so Mistborn is on the table. This is one of those that I'm not a hundred percent in on. The first book I read, I really didn't like it. I think I rated it a three out of five because it was, in my opinion, it was like really slow and boring. And I don't really like Sanderson's writing style all that much. Like I'm, I, I what I hear about it though is that the last book is really epic, and that's what I want. That's what I'm waiting for. I can't wait for that if I ever do get to it, but if I do want to get to it, I'm not going to choose it on my own. So if you guys want me to choose this book, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Also, I'll have a thing, an icon, I believe up there or up there. I assume it's up there. I think it's up there. So check, click on that, vote there. We'll see how this goes. Or if it's not there, just tell, tell, tell me in the comments down below. That's even better. Next, we have Lord of the Rings, which I'm absolutely going to reread at some point in the future because I love this series. It's my, it's my child. I love it. It's, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever read in my life. So I will be reading it soon. The question is when soon. And if you guys want me to read it now, I'll go ahead and read it now. And I want to know what you guys think. I'll re-review each book, go over the entire series, everything like that. And I can't wait. It's going to be so fun. It's going to be wonderful. Tell me what you guys think. Next, we have Memory Sorrow Thorn by Tad Williams. Now, this is a chunky series because these two books are on their own you know, two book. This book is one book together and it's longer than both of the first two books. I mean, it's a trilogy actually. So that's kind of weird. Here we have, uh, well, there, I hear it's really good. I hear the beginning of the first book is garbage, but the rest of it is just wonderful. And Air is reading it right now, my sister, and we're going to see how that goes. And uh, if any of you want to see it, let me know because I know it's not a very popular book, but I do know that some people like to see reviews of books that they've never read to see, like, open up new fantasy books for them. You know, but I don't think that's going to be very popular, but uh, this is on the table if you want to choose it. Next up is The Song of Ice and Fire, which is a book series that I really want to get into for a long time. Now, the thing is, I've been waiting to think, you know, maybe I'll, I'll watch the series before I get into this, because here the TV show is better than the books. But the, the problem is, like, I, I don't know, because I don't really want to watch the TV series. I might just jump into the books, because, you know, what's up with the TV series is kind of weird. But, uh, see, the, the, that's the problem. I really want to jump into the story, but I don't want to jump into the TV series, which is apparently better than this. So I might go ahead with this, or I might just go ahead with the series and see how that goes. Let me know. This one is one of those that I'm really, really big on, because I want to jump on it before the rest comes out, and I want to, like, join the hype. So, what do you guys think? Now, this is something that's not going to be on the poll, but we do have the Mahabharata up there, and I know there's a lot of, uh, still a lot of views coming in from that video. So if you guys want me to read this, let me know, maybe I'll, I'll jump on that and like I'll get a lot of views from that too, so it's a win-win situation. Uh, but yeah, we do have that up there. And then Wheel of Time, which is the last one, which I haven't, I'm not gonna lift that entire thing down just like that. So that's up there, that's Wheel of Time, that's the entire Wheel of Time series. If you wanna see that, this one I'm really, really big on because I hear it's like epic, and I know a lot of people have been telling me to read this series. So, you know, 
I'm, I'm letting you guys choose now because it's really big and I don't know whether I want to completely commit to it yet. But if you say that I should commit to it, I'll probably commit to it and just jump on it up. So, like, it'll be like the only fantasy series I read, except for maybe Mistborn. So, you know, maybe if the top two all join together, possibly, something like that. But that is on the table completely. Then we also have this, which is Malazan. I don't think I'm going to be putting this on the poll, but let me know in the comments down below if you want me to read this. I'm so excited. I'm going to read it all. It's going to be so wonderful. I'm going to do, like, in-depth reviews for every Every single book because I know that it can it's possible to do that with Malazan and it's gonna be great so that is basically all I think at the same time you do know that I have every single Stephen King book so if you want me to read a Stephen King book let me know let me know what your favorite Stephen King books are and then you know I'll like jump into those before I jump into the rest of those because other than that there's very few Stephen King books that are like on my list to read just to go over a few that are on my list we've got 112263 the Mr. Mercedes trilogy we have Cujo Firestarter, uh, Eyes of the Dragon, uh, Dark Half, and the Bachman books. I'll get through all those in different seasons. And then a couple here, which is just Under the Dome, Sleeping Beauties. And I believe that should be about it. Yeah, that's about it. So yeah, there are a couple down there that you can't see, but none of those are at the top of my list. So those are the ones at the top of my list. And even if they're not on the top of the list, let me know what you want to see me read. I have reviewed every single Stephen King book that I've read, so if you don't know what I've read and what I haven't read, take a look through my videos and you'll see all the Stephen King's books that I read, because I've reviewed every single, 100% of them. That's kind of crazy. I started my channel when I started re reading Stephen King, so that's where you'll find him. Welcome to the editing chamber. I did miss one series that I should have talked about, which is Lightbringer. Um, Lightbringer. So, the last book is coming out, like, this year. And, oh, I don't know, maybe I should read it. Maybe you guys like it. Maybe it's, like, at the top of your list. So, if you want me to read that, let me know. I'm actually really looking forward to reading that right now. But if I don't read it right now, I'm probably not going to care about it too much. But I will give you guys that choice. It will be in the vote, along with everything. So, every... Um, series that I mentioned in this video that is up for vote I told you I would consider is up in the top you just have to click whichever one you want so no matter which survey it's in because there'll be multiple surveys so that you can see you know what you want but please I mean I don't really care vote whatever you want we'll see how this goes so to reiterate the choices of series that I want to read is gonna be Mistborn, uh, Wheel of Time, Malazan, A Song of Ice and Fire, Lord of the Rings, and that one that one Memory or a thorn. Those are the all of the series that I might want to read. I might want to pick up. So let me know what you guys think. Vote up there. I believe it's up there. I might, it might be in the opposite corner. One of those corners. Let me know what you think. This is it for this video. Thank you guys for voting. Thank you for letting me know in the comments down below. I, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for letting me hit 100 subscribers. And going to 111, I think we're at at the moment of me recording this because this should go out like very, very soon. I really want to know what you guys want to see from me. I want to know what you guys want me to review anything like that. I love reading your comments. I love replying. I love seeing your subscriptions, your support, all of that. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.